G'day folks, I found myself a little toy today. It's one of those little uh, El Cheapo Chinese quad bikes. Uh, the guy at the scrapyard said it had a cracked inlet manifold. If I look on the other side, they've actually tried to repair it with a stick welder. And most people would know that doesn't work on aluminum. Front suspension's a bit funny, the ball joints are worn out. Not that it's done many miles, it's just falling apart. That wheel turns, this one doesn't. Very primitive, but it works. It's all there, though. Damn junkyard dogs chewed on the hand grips over the weekend. <laughs> now that's the worst part down there. They've tried to botch it up with, with bloody wells. Don't know how I'm going to get that off. Oh well, I think I've got spare parts for these, I've got a couple of spare cylinders at least. Everything else is there. Very crude but effective. Let's lock in it. Should go alright, it's a four stroke overhead valve engine. Uh, they tried it on Saturday, just after I left and well, the dogs chewed all the wires over the weekend, so it didn't work this morning. It'll fix that. It did turn over. Frozen. Oh, that's better. Take all the covers off so I can see what I'm doing. One of the problems I've got to look at is these two joints down here. They're just slopping around all over the place. Very lousy quality. Same with that one. I'll shim them up and try and take out all that slop. Realign the front wheels. And take this off. 107cc's. It's not bad, it's bigger than the bloody Honda. <laughs> uh, it'll be a centrifugal clutch. There's no sign of any uh, gear shift on it. Not too bad. Yeah, got to address that problem after I get the engine running. Little cross drill disc works. The back brakes definitely work. That ugly mess. Oh, they've used MIG, steel MIG wire. Hmm. Oh, I'll take that carby off. Okay, well, I've got the carbon inlet manifold off. That's the mess they've made. The MIG wire sticking through on the inside. It's really busted up. That's a carburetor. Cheapo Chinese thing. Uh, no. Kai Yin, Japan. This one here is a spare I've got. Mikuni, Japan. Uh, don't think the head would bolt straight on, but the rest of it's alright. Double. Oh, overhead cam. Chain driven. I might try and adapt this Mikuni carburetor. A lot bigger. I've really got to give it to the Chinese. They'll make an adjustable ball joint, but they won't pack it full of grease. This thing's just full of metal shavings. All that grey stuff is just metal shavings. They didn't pack a single gram of grease into these things. I'm taking each one apart and packing them full of grease and winding the adjusting nuts down so that they actually take up the slop. Even that's full of play. I don't know. Body Chinese manufacturing starts to piss me off sometimes. But I suppose anything with wheels and an engine, I might as well try and get it going. <laughs> Too good to throw on the scrap pile. Okay, well it looks a bit dodgy, but that's the uh, inlet manifold taken care of. I'm 
using uh, Devcon aluminium putty. Costs about 100 bucks for a tub set, but the uh, putty itself and hardener, but it's well worth it. I can't fit that other carburetor on the engine at the moment, it's too big. I need to machine a special manifold and have it hanging out the side. But that'll work. Ok, well I've got the steering pretty much sorted. I've redone all the ball joints. Well, I just repacked them with grease and tightened them up. Uh, not much else to do, i just got to wait for the epoxy to set on the inlet manifold and then bolt her up and see if she runs. Get the cowling and everything back on. The bloke, he dropped it off for scraps that he'd bring the uh, seat around soon, so I should have the proper seat for it. Uh, also found why this tyre won't hold air. A bit of a hole in it. I'll take that one off and fix it later. Only thing is they put tubeless tyres on it too, so it's a bit harder to fix. That doesn't help. Bloody Chinese rubber. That's why they don't hold air. Oh, well. I'll put new valve stems on them all. And I've got a brand new spark plug here. So I'll swap this old Chinese one out. I think that one's the NGK. Should be alright. 